I do have kind of a competitive background. I have competed in actually the, the original Dawn of War games in the world, cyber games. Now that I kind of oversee a lot of the multiplayer design, I kind of have to make sure that every race is catered to equally. In multiplayer, if you're familiar, each race gets three heroes. We have one hero dedicated to each god. All the units that are dedicated to gods kind of cater to a particular playstyle. So if you're picking Nurgle, you're going to be more of a defensive player. If you're picking Corrin, you're definitely more of an up-in-your-face aggressive player. We found there, you know, there are different kind of audiences for how people like to play the game, and we felt uh, within the Chaos Race, there are actually lots of different ways you can play it. So we have uh, demons with swords, demons riding other demons. We threw in this orc magic caster, and you know, anything orc is a little bit different than the others. So uh, the weird boy is actually a really unique caster who, he's really volatile, he can do some really cool stuff, but I watch out when he dies, he's actually kind of a danger around your own men. The new free-for-all mode is, uh, well, obviously it's every man for himself. It still follows the, the victory condition of trying to capture victory points. Um, this time they'll actually be counting up, so it's like first to 500, first to 1,000. You can actually destroy the victory points. They are repairable at a cost, but uh, we find that actually adds an interesting twist on the whole free-for-all setting. For all of you out there who wonder if we're watching, because we, uh, we're not always very active on the forums, we, we do read them every day. We try to use it to help us improve the game and look forward to you know, a similar stream of updates for Chaos Rising post-launch.